Well, hello everyone. How are you doing? James here once again with another episode of Bible Break, where we nourish our souls with God's Word. And you may have noticed in our last episode my new haircut. What's that? Oh, thank you. I really like it too. Julie did it for me, actually. Yep, that's right. Pastor Doug wouldn't let her come near his hair, but I let her cut mine. I don't know if you'd call it bravery per se, but I also wouldn't stop you from using that word either. <laughs> anyway, you're probably sitting there wondering, James, man, why would you let her cut your hair? You know, Julie's not a professional hairstylist, at least not yet. So why would I trust her to do a good job? Well, it's because of this little thing called faith. And that's exactly what we're going to be talking about today. Faith. Why do we put our faith in God? How can we trust Him with our lives? How can we trust Him to do what He says He's going to do? Why would we trust that He is who He says He is? It's all because of faith. So if you have your Bibles, please turn with me to Hebrews chapter 11, and we're going to read a little bit about what faith is and what it means to have faith. Hebrews chapter 11, starting at verse 1. Now faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. This is what the ancients were commended for. By faith, we understand that the universe was formed at God's command so that what is seen was not made out of what was visible. Isn't that interesting? What was seen, what is seen, was not made out of what was visible. So right at the beginning, right at creation, God wove faith into the fabric of the universe by taking what is unseen, what is invisible, and making everything that we see, this world around us, the world as we know it, came from what is invisible came from the word, the speech, the command of God. There was nothing and then there was something. In the beginning there was God and then this visible universe. And it's by faith that we understand these things. It's faith that enables us to see these things. It's interesting that relationship between faith and sight. By faith, we understand that the universe was formed at God's command. And this kind of faith isn't blind faith. Putting your trust in Jesus Christ is the most reasonable thing that you can do. It's definitely not blind faith. But it's seeing in a way that transcends sight. It's believing, it's knowing, it's faith that transcends what we see with our eyes. Paul wrote about this in his letter to the Corinthians in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 7. He said that we live by faith and not by sight. Again, faith and sight. Seeing in a way, believing in a way, knowing in a way, faith in a way that transcends sight. Now faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. Where does that certainty come from? How can we be so sure? How can we compare our faith to sight? How can we call that more real than sight? We're sure of what we see around us. How can we be sure of what is unseen? How can we be sure of our faith? Well, friends, it's because our faith is based on God's character. Now, you don't see character in the way that you, you see someone's hair or someone's shirt. You see someone's character by who they are, by the way they act, by how they treat other people, by the way they look at you and the way they look at the world. That's how you see someone's character. And our faith is built on God's character. Just like my faith in Julie to cut my hair was based on her character. Because I know Julie, I know that she's not going to stop 
until she's proud of the work that she's done. That's why I could trust her to cut my hair and to do a good job. Same thing with God. We trust him, I trust him, because I know who he is. Because he's revealed himself to me and he's revealed himself to us throughout history. He's told us who he is. He's told us that he's faithful, that he is good, that he loves us, and that he would go to great lengths to be in relationship with us. He's shown us his character. Do you know God? Do you know who he is? Let me encourage you that now is the time to put your faith in him. He will not disappoint you. Ask him who he is. Get to know him. Search the scriptures and find out who he is, what he's done throughout history. This chapter 11 of Hebrews is great because it goes throughout the chronology of scripture. It goes throughout the Old Testament and tells stories, references the stories throughout the Old Testament of how, of heroes of the faith, of people who put their faith and their trust in God and how he showed up and how they were blessed because of their faith. He can do the same for you today. Let me encourage you, to, if you haven't already, to put your faith in him. And even if you have, think about that today. Meditate on that today. Surrender to him today. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Bible Break. The conversation doesn't have to end here, though. Talk to someone about faith today. Talk to someone you love and trust about faith today. God bless you. We'll see you on Thursday.